Okay, for the last part of today's lecture, we're going to move beyond lifting line theory and look at vortex lattice methods. So the reason these, this, this is important is that lifting line theory works well for straight wings at medium to high aspect ratio. But we could have low aspect ratio wings, swept wings, or delta wings. And what do we do for cases like this? So just to make sure we're all on the same page, this would be a low aspect ratio wing, might look something like this. A swept wing. Something like this. And a delta wing. Looks like this. So lifting line theory will not give anything remotely resembling reasonable results for any of these types of configurations. And it's fairly easy to see why. In the case of the low aspect ratio wing, uh, the end effects are so important, um, and also the span or the cord-wise distribution of lift starts becoming more important than this, uh, or as important as the span-wise distribution because the aspect ratio is so low. For the swept wing, it's impossible to, to define a single lifting line that is valid over the whole wing. And for the delta wing, uh, again, the cord-wise variations. Um, variations in core, I should say, over the span of the wing are so significant that uh, having a single lifting line model would, would clearly not be representative. So it's beyond the scope of uh, this course to get into the fine details of how to handle these cases, but I will here give an overview of one model that's very useful for these kinds of configurations. which is the vortex lattice method. So here, let's say here's our wing. What we do is place a number of horseshoe vortices with strength gamma n on the wing. So here is a vortex panel on the wing. We place a vortex not thicker here. It has trailing arms that go down to infinity as we expect. The vortex panel has length L, and usually the front arm of the vortex would be at one quarter L, and then that has strength gamma n, and then a control point where flow tangency will be incorporated is one quarter L from the back of the panel. So we cover the wing with these panels to make a lattice of horseshoe vortices. Each one has an unknown strength gamma n. Then we apply the flow tangency boundary condition at these points and get a system of linear equations once again for these vortex strengths gamma n. In this course, we're going to use a la uh, vortex lattice code called AVL. Uh, which stands for Athena Vortex Lattice, uh, and this is another Mark Jella program. Same person who brought us XFOIL. And we can use this to analyze wings uh, and also complete aircraft configurations, so it's even more than just a basic vortex lattice code. Um, but you'll use this in uh, the, 
the homework assignment next week in the third homework um, to do some analysis on uh, finite wings uh, in addition to using lifting line theory.